Here we are, the Blink DC Quick Charger in Auburn, Washington at the Walgreens. They just got the charge handle switched out to the new Yazaki, um, however they pronounce that. My apologies if I did it incorrectly, but at any rate, this is the new handle. It is substantially lighter, which is, and it's a lot easier to get in and out of the actual Quick Charger. See there? It doesn't look like it's going to have as much uh, damage over time on the actual charge connector. The, um, I'm not particularly excited about the way Blink did this uh, this uh, port here that holds it. Uh, you can see all the wear and tear that's on these spindles in there. But at any rate, this is what we're talking about here. And the real cool part about this is putting it into the into the vehicle side. It is basically any you get it registered, you push straight in, and it's locked in. I'm pulling on a little bit with light pressure here to show that it is locked in. It took basically zero effort to do that. A quick eject on the button. Also notice I can hold it at arm's length and it's substantially lighter than the uh, Chattermo connector was. It uh, looks like it's going to be a lot better overall. Just click it in, pull it out. I mean, what's, what's any simpler than that? As long as you register, when you put it in, you want to look at that corner there and you want to make sure that key, those key sections are registered within the, the port on your car. And if you use that as a visual alignment, you'll get it every time without any troubles. No more of this crappy handle thing with the Chattermo. That was a bunch of, that was a pain in the ass. Let's just, let's just be uh, frank with about that. That thing sucked. This thing here is awesome. Appreciate all the efforts that you guys have done to get these things upgraded. And hopefully over time we'll see more of the chargers get this new charge handle on it because it is a much better solution. As far as the connector itself, it's going to be probably exactly the same as what you see on a Chattamo for the most part. So I don't know about long-term wear and tear on a pin insertion and, and uh, cycle life. It shouldn't be much different. And if you're not fooling around trying to get this thing, you know, trying to figure out how to get it plugged into your car all the time, it should theoretically be a better solution for the long run as far as the uh, that was always my main concern is what's the life cycle of those pins inside of there you know as long as you get it registered in the corners like it's supposed to be and it's in the right spot when you put it in you're good to go so over time we'll see I'm sure I haven't looked it up there's probably a specification on how many life cycles and how many insertions you can make on these before they have to be serviced but at any rate that concludes the DC quick charger upgrades that we got here in Auburn, Washington yesterday. And we're still waiting. Currently it's uh, not, not uh, fully functional, but they're gonna get that turned around here pretty quickly for us. Alrighty, peace out. Enjoy the electric vehicle charging.